so the lower limb the extent of the lower limb is extending below from the trunk so the junction of the trunk and the lower limb is called as groin area so this is the anterior view of the lower limb and this is the posterior view of the lower limb and these are the present in the anterior and the posterior aspect of the lower limb so the main function of the lower limb is to help us to move from one place to another place so that is the locomotion as well as it carries the weight of our body so the function of lower limb is locomotion and weight bearing similar to upper limb the lower limb also subdivided into many groups so the uh, area of the lower limb it is presented between the hip joint and the knee joint is called as thigh region and this is the area for the knee region and the part of the lower limb that is presented between the knee joint and the ankle joint is called as leg and beneath the ankle joint is the foot so there is this position of the lower limb is vertical up to the ankle joint then at the foot area the disposition is horizontal so this is the anterior view of the lower limb let's uh, see the posterior aspect the posterior aspect this is the thigh region just above the thigh there is a gluteal region so the prominent of the buttock is uh, known as gluteal region and just below the thigh the posterior aspect of the knee this area is called as popliteal fossa and beneath that there is a leg region the posterior aspect of the leg muscles uh, we can see a uh, uh, bulky muscles here so this muscles are called as calf muscles and this is the uh, area of our heel this is the foot region so let's discuss the what are the bones present in the lower limb so the, the this is the appendicular skeleton this appendicular skeleton has a connection with the axial skeleton through this pelvic girdle so the pelvic girdle connects the lower limb to the trunk so the bones of the pelvic girdle are hip bone on either side and posteriorly the last single bone is the sacrum and the both sing, uh, both side pelvic bone meets in the midline through a pubic symphysis so this is the pelvic girdle and the thigh region we can see a heavy large bone so this bone is the femur so the thigh region is otherwise called as femoral region so the femur is articulates with the hip bone in this area so this area of hip bone is called as acetabulum and forms the hip joint the lower end of the femur the femur articulates with the leg bones so the medial most bone is the heavy bone this is the tibia and laterally this is the fibula so the femur articulates with the uh, tibia and uh, forms the knee joint in the anterior aspect of the knee joint we can see a large sesamoid bone so this bone is called as patella so the lower end of the tibia we can see a prominence here so this is called as medial malleolus of tibia like that the lateral aspect of the fibula this is called as lateral malleolus so this joint is the ankle joint so the foot has tarsal bones metatarsal bones and phalanges so there are seven tarsal bones in the foot and the five metatarsals naming from medial to lateral and there are phalanges the great toe has proximal and distal phalanx other toes has proximal middle and distal phalanges so this is the overview of about the bones of lower limb and we have to know uh, some of the important landmarks before moving into the topic proper already i have told this is the pelvic girdle on either side the pelvic girdle is made up of which bone hip bone so the upper expanded part of the hip bone is called as ilium and the anterior most part of this hip bone is called as pubis and here you can see a one more uh, part of the hip bone and this is the ischium so the let's see the ilium first so the ilium has upper curvilinear border so this curvature of ilium is called as iliac crest so the anterior most point of the iliac crest is called as anterior superior iliac spine okay and this is the pubic bone the pubic bone has the body of pubis and the upper surface of the body of pubis there is a rough and the area this area is called as pubic crest the lateral most point of this rough and area is called as pubic tubercle and both sides the pubic bones meet in the midline as a pubic symphysis posteriorly the ilium meets with the sacrum through the sacroiliac joint and this is the posterior view of the pelvic girdle and this is the sacrum so the ilium 
makes articulation with the sacrum and forms the sacroiliac joint and this is the posterior superior iliac spine and this is the posterior inferior iliac spine beneath that there is a greater sciatic notch and you can see a pointed uh, tip like structure here this is known as ischial spine then this is the ischial 